Are you ready? <gasps> oh my gosh. It's preview collection day. Today is my special edition feature video here on my YouTube channel and this is in partnership with Whatnot. Whatnot is a 24 seven live streaming app that hosts auctions, sales for vintage lovers, collectors, anyone who just loves to hang out and shop online. It's so much fun. And I have been teaming up with Whatnot this whole fall to release special collections for sale on auction for you. So before we jump into the collection that I'm gonna have for sale at the end of October, I just wanted to let you know how the Whatnot app works in case you haven't already signed up. Basically, you're going to go to the app store, download Whatnot, and immediately find Be Jones Style right away. You're gonna start following me there and you'll be alerted any time I have a sale that I am live and you can join in live, hang out with me and shop and bid on items that I'm about to show you. There's also just a ton of amazing sellers on Whatnot that are featuring collector items, vintage tees, vintage, modern and thrift. So you can just really tune in to any of the sales going on and there really are sales going on 24 seven. So it's happening all the time. So if you're just ever bored, like I've been waiting at the DMV, I was in a whatnot sale. So there you go. You can really just do it anytime and hang out with the seller, which it's really fun too. the community on whatnot. You've got music going on, you're chit chatting. It's a live stream. So you can send in questions, you can chat with the seller and it really feels so interactive and so much fun. And I honestly have had the best time the last few months as I've been doing these whatnot sales because it really feels like a party we're hanging out I get to show you the item that I'm selling and then I put it up for bid starting at 5 10 15 20 25 depending on the item and then you get to cycle through and bid on these items and it's seriously a blast and I get so excited to see who wins the item and who I get to send it to also something that I started doing in the last what not sale is that I have special giveaways and I have hunted down these treasures for you they are not just your basic treasure I find the best of the best, bring them to you and they are put up for giveaway during the auction. So if you're attending the live, all of a sudden I'll announce the giveaway, I'll show off the item and then you jump into the giveaway and you're spun through as if you're playing a slot machine in Vegas and a winner is selected and it's so much fun. And I wanted to let you know with the giveaways, I'll be sharing them at the very end of the preview. So stay tuned because they're so incredible and you guys are gonna love them. So before I show you the collection, let me tell you just what to do. Go down to the link in my video description below, click on it. That immediately is gonna give you $15 off anything that you purchase from my sale or any other sale. So that's a deal right away. And it's such an amazing community and space. So make sure you click the link down below and join in on all the fun on whatnot. Also make sure you go find B. Jones Style, follow B. Jones Style, and hit a little reminder for my current sale. And I'm announcing now that my sale is going to be on Wednesday, October 26th at 1230 Pacific Standard Time. So make sure to join in on that sale, October 26th at 1230 Pacific Standard Time. All right, but let's actually now jump into a preview of the collection. I'm gonna show you some of the best items. I decided this time that the theme was the idea of kind of fall aesthetics. So we've got 70s, we've got Mad for Plaid, Cottage Core, Y2K, and then a coat parade. And I'm not even kidding, these coats are insane. I'm gonna have a hard time releasing them, but I'm so excited for one of you to have them. The first item that's gonna be for auction is this amazing houndstooth plaid 70s shrunken vest. It has amazing gold buttons on them that have an R on them, which is making me wonder what was the label that was inside this. I love this for print mixing moment. You can also wear this just as a shirt and it looks really great paired with other prints, a print blouse underneath, a print blazer over it doing a black and white moment. But this is a stunner and so incredible. When I think 70s, I think disco, I think Cher, I think Studio 54, ah, and essential 70s pieced 
Halston. This is a vintage Halston 70s gorgeous blouse. It has ties on the sleeve. It's a golden color and it just has this amazing shine and flow to it. This looks so great worn open with some, you know, 70s style pants or tucked in to some denim when you want to dress it up a little bit. But this is such an amazing 70s moment and these balloon sleeves are all the drama. <sighs> a 70s dress is really the most romantic, amazing thing. And look at this fall color burst 70s dress. It has a gorgeous kind of scoop upside down empire waist. It's got a gorgeous neckline here. The back is cinched at the waist, it zips up, but really it is all about this amazing print of yellow, orange, and black, and it's maxi. So this is all the drama and all the fun for fall. I feel like this is perfect for the upcoming holiday season when you just wanna look fabulous, but also be really comfortable. It's so flowy and so comfy and you can lounge in it and you can dance in it and you can play in it. I can't believe that I have this set and I'm so excited to show it to you. Okay, first you're thinking amazing, 70s set, right? But let me show you what makes this so amazing. Okay, these are bell-bottom pants, but the back has this ruffle detail. So it's the ultimate 70s party pant, and it's a set. It also has buttons that run down the sleeve, and so it just creates a little peekaboo effect. You could wear this tucked in with an amazing belt. You wear this out with some platform shoes and it honestly, look at this color too. It's a gorgeous, kind of a lavender purpley color and I am in love and I cannot wait for one of you to have this set. Okay, I mentioned 70s disco and if there is one thing that's 70s disco, it's this and it's a jump suit from the 70s. It has this amazing drape detail but these are pants and it's a ruby red color. It goes asymmetric, one shoulder buttons here on the side and then has this gorgeous draping. What also makes this incredible is the vintage Fredericks of Hollywood tag in it. And if you did uh, watch my thrifting video with Maddie, I found this for you all there. And you could go back and watch and see just how it looked when I put it on, I'm 5'6", and I feel like it would fit like a 5'4", a little bit better just because of the torso length, but it is seriously so amazing. And talk about the perfect holiday party outfit right here. Our next aesthetic is mad for plaid. I love a plaid in the fall. I love doing menswear, and I just think plaid is the perfect fall print, and I have found a few pieces that are so much fun and I'm gonna show them to you. This is one of my favorites. I love a mixed print already done for you, and this is a plaid vest from Gap, probably early 2000s or even 90s, and it's a great tweedy red plaid, but then on the back, it has that incredible print, almost like a tie from this era, and it ties there at the back so you can kind of wear it more shrunken, and it's just the perfect vest. I fell in love with it immediately and knew one of you had to have it. So, oh, I can't wait to see how this gets styled up. I love a dramatic sleeve. It just always gets me every single time. And the next two pieces have great dramatic sleeves. This is a current piece. This is um G and it has this amazing sleeve detail. If you can see, it kind of scoops and has pleating on the arm so it creates this voluminous sleeve and then it's a little bit blousey and still has that classic button down shape which could be worn with a tie or brooch or something like that or worn open but then you're going to have a great time with these just gorgeous sleeve details and i'm mad for this plaid this is also another current piece and this is a designer it's incredible it's maison kitsune made in paris and it's a beautiful plaid. I love this kind of checkerboard plaid. And it's almost the opposite of the other one with that great sleeve and the pleating on the inside creating the shape like this. This has the same detail of pleating here, but in more of a puff sleeve 
shape and I just love the details you can see the pleating there and then as you can see there's buttons down the back which I just love that detail so it's gonna fit you you know perfectly tucked in but then with those buttons you could even if you wanted to you could keep a button or two undone for more of a you know flouncy shape when you wear it but this is so classic but at the same time so interesting because of the sleeve detail i love a robe moment and i found this amazing plaid robe that has ties here and then you can see the vintage label i love a vintage label it always gets me and this is just so classic it reminds me of a men's smoking jacket and feels just so cool it's got cuffs on the arms and i feel like this is a great easy breezy look if you want it to be you could just wear a sweatshirt some high-waist denim on the weekends and a ball cap or you could take this in a direction very Gucci and style it up with some more plaid or some 70s menswear, throw a tie on with it. So this is just such an incredible plaid smoking jacket. The next aesthetic is the cottagecore dream. Normally we think of cottagecore in the summer and the spring, but I think it's kind of an all the time dreamy idea. And a lot of these pieces could be worn now, but also could be saved for the spring. You'll never regret having an amazing cottagecore piece to flounce around in all year long. I can't get enough of vests. I just cleaned my closet out and I think I had like 25 vests in my closet. And this is the cottagecore essential vest. I love this tapestry print. It reminds me of a, you know, vintage wallpaper that I might see on the walls in a home in Britain. It's got this great kind of embellished back and it's also longer so it can be worn lots of different ways. You can even belt this up and it's got a great kind of thick feel to it and then even the inside has a floral pattern. It really is a wallpaper in a vest. This is from my own collection and I can't wait for one of you to have this beautiful dreamy cottage core prairie top. It's got beautiful ruffles down the front with more of a bib style and then it buttons off to the side and even has a ruffle around the neckline and this perfect fall floral. I love the colors in this playing off the tan but then you can also go for the punchy reds, blues, and yellows that are all throughout but it's so cute and it's just a perfect prairie moment. If you wanna have some color within your cottagecore dream, this top is absolutely beautiful. It's got a kind of sailor style neckline, which I love. So there's ruffles here at the front and then they go all the way around to the back, but then there's also ruffles on the bottom and on the sleeve. And so this looks so great worn, more open and flowy. You could definitely tuck it in if you want, but I think it looks great kind of flouncing around or even as a layer over something else. Wear it even as a jacket or wear it alone. It is sheer, so it's great for really interesting layering. This one. <gasps> beautiful cottage core romantic little robe house dress the beautiful neckline we've got this collar with the lace trim more of a puff sleeve it's such an interesting fun little floral moment more of an empire waist it's really long and then it has buttons that go all the way down the front so this can be worn as a layer as a duster but also as just a really great dress or just around the house and it even has pockets on it and it's just so cute. And I actually think it was also handmade, which I just always love when they're handmade pieces. And then you might have seen me find this when I was thrifting with Maddie, but this is the dreamiest dress. I feel like I want you to have it <laughs> because I know someone else would just bring this to life in such an incredible way. It's such a 70s cottagecore moment. And uh, I just, if you have a vacation coming up, and you want to style up something so gorgeous and ethereal to me this is the absolute perfect piece i love the detail of the print it is sheer as well and so i feel like you could have a lot of fun with what you wear under it or over it 
it's more of a puff sleeve and one thing I will measure the arm because the arm is a little more cinched so I just want to make sure you all have the correct measurements and in the whatnot sale always you can go to uh, the link down below follow Be Jones style and hop into the sale and look at the shop it will have all the details before the sale so you can actually go in and see what items what measurements and what you probably want to try to bid on and and grab for yourself the next aesthetic is Y2K baby. Of course, we have to have a Y2K moment and I have two really special Y2K pieces. Sometimes we forget about the essentials, but you know I'm gonna have something that's essential but make it always play dress up. And I love this little knit tank. This is an essential, it's a black little knit tank. It's really great fabric of that knit. It's marked a size medium and then it's got this amazing sequin detail at the front. So it's just the showstopper right away. And it really is such a great piece to wear any time of year. I think this is gonna look amazing during the upcoming holiday seasons worn with a great blazer or a coat or you could layer another shirt over it or something. But I just love that winter floral and all the sequin details. This is a Y2K designer piece that is to die for. This is Roberto Cavalli and it's a black and white button down with this gorgeous velvet bow detail that if you can see there's gold clasps right at the bust and it ties and bows are just having a moment in general so I love this idea of just this cinched bow at the bust detail and it comes really low here it's got the collar and it's just a classic white button down and it does button here from the bust down so that's kind of nice if you want to have um, it all buttoned up and tucked in or if you want to leave it open and just tie it there at the front but whoever does get this I want to see how you style it up the next and last aesthetic and I'm so excited about this I love outerwear and so we are going to have a coat parade to me when the weather turns cool, wearing a coat is so much fun and you can really express your style with your coat, especially with vintage coats. To me, they're the best. They're so interesting and always feel like a party on top of your outfit. Straight out the gate with what is currently everywhere right now and this is a great little varsity jacket bomber style. This is... <laughs> So perfect, it even, I mean, if you look at the tag, it is worn to many a game in probably, I would say the 70s or maybe the 80s, but I love this red and yellow color. It's got, whoever it was, the player's numbers, number 74, and the, I'm wondering if that's the school, and it zips up, and it's so much fun. I love, you know, just wearing this honestly as a top would be so great with some trouser pants or over a dress but also unzipped and just worn as a layer. It's a really light layer, so you really can just add this into your outfit. You have to have a leather moment, and this is a major leather moment. This is a longer leather coat. What is so great about this is there's belt loops right here, so it cinches at the waist. You can create that drama, and then it has a flap that runs all the way around the back in more of a dolman style sleeve, and it's got pockets here at the front, but to me, this is such an incredible black leather jacket, and if you already have a leather jacket, you probably have like checked that box, but this one is going to fill a whole other gap in your closet because it really is a styling jacket. You can do so much with this, just wearing it, you know, on its own, unbuttoned and just as a great leather layer, but you can also cinch it in and wear your amazing belts with it as well. This is so incredible. This is a 1960s car coat, shaggy, gorgeous blue, big, buttons it reminds you of something from mad men except in an amazing color and it's got more of that three-quarter length sleeve that was known when this was being worn this is actually vintage sears robux and co which i love that thinking that it probably came from a catalog that someone ordered their special coat and this color is just such a stunner. I feel like you immediately make a statement when you wear this. You can wear a buttoned up like this and make it just be part of your outfit or just layer it over something else and just have a color blocking moment. I am so excited about this one. This is a gorgeous oxblood maroon velvet trench coat. It's vintage iMagnon. You know you have a quality piece when it's iMagnon. I love that. 
and it totally has that, uh, you know, trench coat styling, great little details there on the sleeve, and it's buttery soft velvet, and it's just so good. I love this for more of a dressed up look when you wanna wear a coat but still look great, or just casual every day. And it's not too thick, so I feel like this is kind of be worn no matter the temperature. You can layer up the outfit if it's really cold, and then if it's just slightly chilly, this is just your great layer. I saved the best for last. I just, you're gonna have to prepare yourself. This is so good. Are you ready? <gasps> Oh my gosh, can you see this coat? <laughs> ah! This is the most fun coat. I, I don't even own anything this cool or this much fun. So this is an amazing color moment. I love that it's cream, but it has all of these great colorful blocks all over it and that stripe everywhere. It's probably, it reminds me of something like early 90s or late 80s. I mean, just as I'm talking, I can't not notice all this <laughs> amazingness. It's so good. So this is going to be part of the whatnot sale. <sighs> I just, I don't even know. I hope, I wish I could give it to all of you, but someone's going to bid on it and win it. And now we've come to the very exciting part. I'm going to share the giveaway items with you. And like I mentioned, I really hunted down things that I feel like I'm loving right now that I'm loving styling with and that I wanted you to have something like it. I've been loving boas, in particular ostrich feather boas. They're really so dramatic and they look incredible. They look more elevated. I have a brown one. I have found one for you. Yes, I have. <gasps> it's so gorgeous. It's got like all the fun colors and I just think everyone should be wearing a boa all the time. I don't care what your outfit is you should throw a boa on, especially during the fall. Why not? I mean, seriously, just worn with my flight suit. How great does that look? Throw on a t-shirt, a blazer, jeans, trousers, throw this on, throw a dress on, throw a boa on, just do it. It's so good. I can't wait for one of you to have this amazing boa. This too, I'm so excited for one of you to have it. <sighs> okay, it's this amazing beaded pearl necklace with this gorgeous pendant and it's really kind of heavy and has like a chunkiness to it. I love the detail on the pendant. I love how big these pearls are. It reminds me of something I would see in a Vivian Westwood collection, but also if you love Bridgerton, Cottage Core, this is also perfect. You can punk it up, you can sweeten it up, you can give it the romance, you can give it the goth. It really could go so many directions and I'm honestly obsessed and I wanna find one of my own, <laughs> but I'm so excited to give this away to one of you. And if you've been following me this year, you've seen that I've become obsessed with safety pins that are worn more as brooches and I have found the quirkiest, coolest little safety pin moment for someone out there. This is a safety pin, Russian doll style, but it's cats on it and even at the back you see their tails. Oh my gosh. Ah! It's so cute and quirky. If you have a cat and love a cat, this is yours, but also I just love it for the personality that it adds to your outfit. Even just worn with my flight suit, if I have that on, you're immediately like, what is, what is that? That's amazing. So you could also add this to a hat. I love safety pins because you can do so much with them. You can wear them as a brooch, you can put them on a tie, you can put them on hats, you can wear them in your hair, you could put it on a bag, you could put it on a scarf. I mean, they're so versatile. I love a styling piece that's really gonna just add personality to your outfit. It's gonna be that little extra layer. So that is it. That is a preview of the collection that's going to be for sale on Whatnot on October 26th at 1230 Pacific Standard Time. Make sure to click the link down below, follow B. Jones Style on Whatnot. Also mark for yourself October 26th, 1230 Pacific Standard Time. I'll have on some great music. I'll be showing all the items and then they'll go up for auction and you can bid on them. And it really is just such a party. So come hang out with me on October 26th and we're gonna have some fun. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Always play dress up, bye!